What is up guys, this is iUpdateOS, and today I'm going to show you how you can restore your iDevice without losing your jailbreak. Now this new restore product, titled Semi-Restore, has been getting a lot of buzz lately, and what it lets you do is restore your device like I said before, but you will keep Cydia on there. It'll get rid of everything on your iDevice, but it'll still leave Cydia installed, so you can get rid of all the stuff on there if you have problems at all, restore, and then it will work just like new. Only, of course, Cydia will be installed. So today I just wanted to show off the really cool semi-restore tool made by the awesome creator, CoolStar. So to start this process, you will need a computer, a lightning or the old Apple connector to connect your phone or iPod to the computer, and then of course your iDevice running iOS 5.0 through iOS 6.1.2. And of course, before you start the semi-restore process, there are some things that you have to do. Now, semi-restore only supports Windows XP, Service Pack 3 or higher, Mac OS X 10.6 or higher, Ubuntu 12.10 or higher, or the equivalent Linux to Ubuntu. And before you start the semi-restore process, if you're having a problem, make sure there's not an easier way to fix it. For example, to fix safe mode issues, you can just uninstall Mobile Substrate from Cydia. Now you don't have to have any problems to use semi-restore. For example, I just did it on my iPhone to get a clean slate again. And like any other restore, you're definitely going to want to back up your data if you want to use it after you've restored. So that is the biggest thing here in my opinion, is that you're going to want to back up your data before using semi-restore. And don't touch your device during the semi-restore process, and avoid any tasks related to iTunes or Xcode. And one last very important note about semi-restore is that it can and does not repair broken system files, and avoid all Siri ports. So if you were going to do this semi-restore to repair broken system files, it will not work. And two questions you may be thinking in your head right now is if you can use this firmware to go from a higher one to a lower one. For example, say you're on iOS 6.1.1 and you want to go down to 6.0. You can't do that, it will only allow you to get a fresh version of your current firmware. And you will not need SHSH blobs or AP tickets to use the semi-restore. So once you've done all that, head over to semi-restore.com. And near the top of the page you'll see two download buttons, one for Windows and one for OS X. Now of course if you're on Windows, you're going to want to download Windows, and if you're on a Mac, you're going to want to click on OS X. I'm using a Mac right now, so I'm going to click the OS X button. From there, it will immediately start downloading. Then just click on your download section and double click Semi Restore. Now it will give you some pop-ups along the way, and you're going to want to hit the OK button on all of them. And then when you open Semi Restore, make sure you've downloaded the one from semi-restore.com. If you downloaded them anywhere else, it could mess up your device. So once again, download the one from semirestore.com. And when you're there, it will come up with a dialog box titled semirestore that looks just like this. Then it's going to tell you to connect your iDevice to your computer. And once you've plugged your device in and you're sure you want to go through with the semirestore process, this is the easiest restore out there. Just click the one button titled semirestore. And the process will start as soon as you've hit the button. Now once again, make sure you don't touch your iDevice at all during this process in order not to screw anything up. Your device will respring and reboot multiple times during this process, so you don't need to worry about that. Now I did speed the footage up here because I didn't want this to be a super long video, so yours will take longer than mine on screen. And once again, make sure you do not touch your device at all during the semi-restore process until it's completely done. And when the semi-restore is done, there will be two options. Now one is donate, which I would definitely recommend doing. Clicking the donate button will send you straight to CoolStar's PayPal account. You can send them money from there and I would really recommend this. He did a great job on this application. And finally guys, from there you can just set up your device like a new iOS 6 iPhone or iPod Touch. It'll look just like new, only when you're finally done, you will notice that Cydia was installed on the home screen. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. And if you have any questions about this tweak at all, please feel free to comment in the comment section. And if you're interested in more Cydia content, please subscribe to iUpdateOS, which is my channel. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next one.